Yes. Perfect. Good morning. Thank you, Tanya. Um, and good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Saida Rivas. I'm one of the recruitment and outreach officers over at Cal State San Marcos. I'm also the school partnership coordinator, or one of the school partnership coordinator. Um, today, I'll be talking about Cal State San Marcos. Um, hopefully, uh, you're all, you all are aware where we're located, just to kind of give you an image. If you haven't been around um, Cal State San Marcos in a little while, it's definitely growing. We have a few more buildings up and running. And so uh, just to kind of give you an idea, this is our USU building here. We've been around since 1989, yet we're the third youngest campus out of the 23 CSUs in California. And um, on a regular, I don't know, a regular day, I would probably be located around this little area over at Craven Hall. Um, but welcome. All right, just to kind of start off, um, we're no located in North North County, North San Diego County, uh, probably about, about a little bit over 10 miles from um, Oceanside eastbound. So um, we're fairly uh, close to, to the beach. And the other nice thing is that we actually have a sprinter station over at Cal State San Marcos that will take students from the university all, all the way down to the beach and back. Um, and then obviously we have a few different restaurants, bowling alley, rock climbing uh, locations within walking distance from the campus. So if you have any students that are thinking about, um, you know, uh, attending Cal State San Marcos and they are, they don't have a vehicle, then there's always a transportation for them as well as places to eat. So I'll start off. Uh, we have about 16,000 students currently attending Cal State San Marcos, about 43 different bachelor degree programs, 49 minors, 24 master's degrees, and uh, 11 credentials. We also have a joint doctorate program with UCSD. And we've also been ranked number one as far as safety in California. Uh, we're also ranked 13th safest campus um, in the U.S. In addition to that, we're also within the top 5% of business schools in the world, and we've achieved the AACSB accreditation. In addition to that, we're also ranked 13 as far as relative to cost of attendance nationally. All right, just to kind of give you a little summary of our fall of 2021 enrollment, um, we had about a little bit over 21,000 students apply to Cal State San Marcos. That included the first time freshmen as well as the transfer students. And uh, yet we still had about 83% admittance rate. Okay, so some of the students that are out in the San Diego area, we definitely welcome you. Um, you're not that far away, so definitely welcome you to Cal State San Marcos. All right, um, as far as campus resources, we have a number of campus resources. Uh, definitely, you'll be able to find some of the similar campus resources at the various CSUs. Uh, one of the ones I like to kind of mention is that we have something called Success Coaching Office, which is basically a staff on campus that will work with first time freshmen uh, attending Cal State San Marcos. So what they do is they actually uh, have a group of the first time freshman students and they can they check in with them continuously making sure that they're uh, aware of the resources on campus as well as making sure that they're checking off all their to-do lists on their to-do list item within their student portal. Also other services or I like to kind of mention uh, the Career Center. A lot of students sometimes may not necessarily fully understand what major what career they want to go into and so we have a Career Center Center with career counselors are at our campus. Um, so what these career counselors will do, they don't only just, you know, review resumes and cover letters, but they also work with students to try to figure out what major, what career they would like to go into. And so specifically, we have some students that they come in as undeclared. So you can come in as an undeclared student at Cal State San Marcos and then kind of uh, figure that out within your first year, year and a half. In addition to that, uh, we definitely have a lot more student life, especially now that we're pretty much 90 something per se in person um, over at Cal State San Marcos. And we have over 140 different student organizations. Uh, we have a number of community centers. We have the Latino Center, Veteran Center, Gender Equity Center, Cross Cultural Center, Black Student Center, LGBTQA Pride Center. Um, and as well, we have over 25 different fraternities and sororities at our campus. All right, specialized programs. So 
Um, I like to explain specialized program, kind of like your AVID programs at your high schools. We have uh, very similar educational programs over at the university level. Uh, we have uh, programs specifically for our foster youth. Uh, so that is called the ACE Scholars Program. Uh, this particular ACE scholar, so if you, you have a student that has been in the foster system at any point, I would definitely say to reach out to our ACE scholars program and make sure that this, your student is connected with them. And they will explain the process, assist them with the registration, assist them with registering for classes, and that goes with all of the specialized programs for the most part. Uh, that's just part of um, the services that they provide to students. We also have students for migrant students that come from like um, agricultural workers, the College Assistance Migrant Program. We have the Educational Opportunity Program low-income, first-generation college students. We also have global programs and services. I like to kind of mention the global programs and services. I've had uh, various uh, go to different countries and um, study abroad. And so uh, the study abroad has uh, workshops or sessions uh, regularly that will talk to students about what are the requirements, what do they need to do, uh, but just a great opportunity for, for students to take advantage of that. We also have TRIO programs. We have the student support services, very similar to an EOP program with a little higher uh, income bracket. And we also have the Veterans Center, the Epson Family Vet Veterans Center. So we have any uh, military students or students that come from military families. Uh, they can connect with our Veterans Center and they will provide a lot of services, explain a lot of what benefits they might be eligible for, and kind of assist them with that process. Project Rebound. So Project Rebound is a program directed for uh, prior incarcerated uh, students that are planning to go back to school. And so we have a Project Rebound program at Cal State San Marcos. We have a Dream, Dreamer Resource Office um, as well. So if you have have any dreamer, any undocumented students um, at your schools and they are going to need services, we have a dreamer resource office on campus. We also have the Alliance program. The Alliance program works closely with our local service area as well as our uh, guaranteed admission programs in the North County area. And so they assist students their uh, senior year. Once they apply to Cal State San Marcos, they help them with the process. They have workshops, um, and sometimes they even have scholarships available to students. We also have the California Indian Culture and Sovereignty Center over at Cal State San Marcos. So if you have any Native American students, we would definitely um, be able to provide extra services for them as well. All right, financial aid and scholarships. Um, I'm not going to go too much into the, uh, the logistics and um, how do you apply and all of that good stuff. Um, you may already be aware of financial aid and FAFSA that the application opened up October 1st. But I will say that Cal State San Marcos prides ourselves by saying that we award students as early as December. So that's a pretty um, early award that allows students to kind of get an idea of whether or not they're able to afford Cal State San Marcos or whether or not they really need to look into additional scholarship opportunities. We do award uh, over 70% of our students receive some type of financial aid that definitely assists them and helps them pay for their tuition and um, and we also have a one general scholarship application. This is a great opportunity for students to go ahead and apply for one application that's over 250 different scholarship opportunities just with one application. And the nice thing about that is that they're able to submit that application as soon as they uh, submit their CSUSM application. So definitely a great opportunity. Other CSUs may have general scholarships, but their um, application open and close deadlines are a little bit different. So definitely recommend that you um, inquire or ask about those particular dates. Okay, you will be getting a copy of these slides if you request them um, and you will see that our financial aid office also provides a financial aid application timeline. We'll provide you with dates and uh, dates and just an, an idea of when things, when we process um, information for students and awards. One additional thing that I wanted to mention, the, scholar, the one general scholarship opportunity that we offer at Cal State San Marcos, that is an application that we encourage students to do when they apply as a freshman. But not only that, they can apply every year up until they graduate Cal State San Marcos. 
So really it's a, you know, a continuous scholarship opportunity for them. As far as our housing, we have three different housing locations currently at Cal State San Marcos. We have the University Village Apartments, the Quads, and the North Commons. So University Village Apartments and the Quads are apartment style living. And so the students um, has their own kitchen, their living room area. And then we also have our brand new North Commons opened up fall of 2022. And that is more kind of like a dorm setting for students. Students in the North Commons do have to purchase uh, meal plans uh, as they don't necessarily have kitchens. Oh, and if you'll notice, um, you'll see the, the gentleman here with their surfboards. Uh, like I mentioned before, we have something called the Sprinter. A Sprinter station is kind of like a little train, takes you from the campus all the way down to the beach and back. So this is probably a student just, you know, on the weekends going to the beach. All right, some of our new housing and dining uh, locations or updates, like I did mention that we have that, um, the North Commons, right? That uh, has about 332 rooms for students. We also have a, a cafe, the Campus Way Cafe. And then um, we have planned uh, in 2024, we're going to be having affordable housing, an affordable housing project that is going to be called University Village Student Success Housing and Dining Project. So we're looking forward to that. Uh, definitely uh, affordability and housing is really needed out here in San Diego, anywhere in San Diego. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Uh, all right. So as far yeah. yes, Ms. Tanya, there was a question in the chat that I just yes. wanted to know. Is the scholarship application included in the CSU application? It is not. It is a separate application. So once the student applies to Cal State San Marcos, they will uh, submit that general scholarship application after. Once they have, because it's linked with their application, but it's a separate application. All right. Thank you. Of course. Oh, perfect. Our um, a slide. I mean, our power, the slides are attached in the um, Zoom link or in the chat, I should say, sorry. So if we have any student athletes, uh, I would definitely recommend student athletes to go ahead and connect with our athletic department. Uh, make sure that you're connecting with the recruiter. There is a, a athletic recruiter form online. Uh, these particular slides are hyperlinked, but if you just, um, you know, go into our Cal State San Marcos website, type in athletic department, you'll notice that there is a recruiter form on there that the student can uh, submit. Uh, we also tell them to do that definitely at least by their senior year during the fall. So then that way they're connecting with the coaches. We are NCAA Division II and CCAA. So um, basically what that means is that we also have scholarship opportunities for our athletes. This is a listing of some of our sports. Keep in mind, we also have recreational and intramural camp, uh, sports as well, and then clubs that, um, that play sports. All right, as far as a freshman admission summary, just to kind of give you an idea, uh, the student obviously has to graduate high school, right? And they also have to get um, complete their A2G requirements with a C minus or higher by the end of the spring term. I like to kind of mention here, um, if you have any students that have taken any honors courses or AP courses, keep in mind, they do have to have a C minus or higher. We do not necessarily take these uh, to fulfill the A through G requirements. It will increase their GPA potentially, but it does not fulfill the A through Gs. Okay, in addition to that, our applications just open October 1st, and they will stay open and until December 15 for Cal State San Marcos. So if you're interested in any of the other CSU, please be sure to check in uh, what deadline they have assigned. Uh, so Cal State San Marcos currently has December 15, with the exception of nursing. Our nursing program is uh, definitely impacted. And so we highly recommend students to submit that application before or by November 30th, um, as they will not be admitting uh, applications after that date. Okay, and then as you may be aware, our uh, application is through Cal State Apply, and students are able to apply to all 23 campuses using the Cal State Apply application. 
In addition to that, just to kind of give you an idea of our impacted programs over at Cal State San Marcos, we have our impacted programs listed here. Um, but then keep in mind, we uh, we do have an 83% uh, acceptance rate. So your students, especially in San Diego County area, um, have a high probability of being admitted into major of their choice. I would say with the exception of nursing, nursing is a highly impacted program. And so you definitely um, want to encourage students to have a high GPA and obviously meet our minimum requirements. Okay. Okay, um, if you have any students that are planning to go over to the community college and then transfer over to Cal State San Marcos or any of the CSUs, um, keep in mind that our transfer applications are also from October 1st to December 15th, with the exception of the nursing program. That deadline is November 30th. Um, but something new to Cal State San Marcos is that we will be admitting lower division transfer students as as well as upper division transfer students. What that basically means that the lower division transfer students have completed less than 60 units. And those that are 60 units or above, those are considered upper division students. In addition to that, they have to make sure that they have a good GPA, at least a, at least a 2.0 GPA, be in good academic status within the last uh, community college and or university that they attended. And they also have to have completed their A2, which is a written communication, and their B4, which is their mathematics and or qualitative reasoning. Okay, so those are very important um, subjects to make sure that the student has completed. In addition to that, you'll notice that some of the similar uh, majors are impacted as well, but again, we have high um, acceptance rate. Uh, but I do recommend that if your student is attending a community college that they connect with the community college transfer center or transfer counselor to help guide them uh, along the process and making sure that they're taking a full load um, and also taking the correct courses in order to be able to transfer over and obviously have all those courses um, uh, be transferable. In addition to that, we also have an ADT program, with the, which is an associate degree for transfer for California community colleges. So if your student is planning to major in specific majors, they want to check to see whether or not that community college is uh, has an agreement with Cal State San Marcos in the specific major. Okay. Right, next steps. Um, I like to kind of explain this, the following, and you may be aware, um, our students within their fall term, that's when they're applying for Cal State San Marcos, that's when they're applying for financial aid. That's also when around the time that they're also, um, if you have any students that are California Dreamers, we also have the application open up on October 1st. Um, and obviously our scholarships, right? So that all that all kind of happens in the fall semester. Uh, you'll be surprised that we do um, also try to process our application as soon as possible. So some students are going to be receiving admissions notifications as early as mid to late November. Uh, so keep that in mind. And then during the spring semester is obviously uh, when the students are accepting the universities that they're planning to attend. Uh, we also offer something called Next Steps Present presentations to newly admitted students. So that will happen around March, April. So please keep that one in mind. Um, we will be having all of this information on our website. You'll see our website link is down here below. Um, in addition to that, our intent to enroll deadline um, is $150. That is $150 uh, that can be waived if the student received a waiver for their application. Uh, but keep in mind, if you have any students that did pay or will need to pay that 150 deposit, that money goes towards their fall tuition. So it's, it's not necessarily money that's lost. Okay. Um, in addition to that, we want to make sure that you that your students are obviously submitting those final official transcripts to the university that they're planning to attend. Uh, we do have students that missed the deadline uh, or are driving over at Cal State San Marcos on the deadline date to submit their official transcripts. So that's very important. All right. As far as recruitment services, we have a number of recruitment services over at Cal State San Marcos. For example, we've been offering in-person campus tours. We offer those Monday through Friday, um, 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. 
You just go on our Cal State San Marcos website, campus tours, or our outreach office, recruitment and outreach office, and you'll be able to find all of these different uh, services and important dates and deadlines that are coming up. Um, so we post them as we go along. Uh, keep in mind, we also offer virtual appointments. So if you have any questions about a through G's or just have questions about Cal State San Marcos and you want to meet with a recruiter virtually, you're able to go ahead and do that Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. We have little slots. Uh, you can go ahead and make an appointment virtually or your students can also go ahead and make an appointment to meet with us virtually. We also have um, application clinics coming up. We have a, a big event, Discover CSUSM. That's going to be happening on October 15th, Saturday, October 15th. That is like our big open house. We definitely welcome you, your students, and everybody and anybody to come visit Cal State San Marcos. There's going to be campus tours going on throughout the day, food, entertainment, workshops, um, and a great opportunity for your students to kind of get to know the campus. In addition to that, like I mentioned previously, we do have our freshman and transfer next steps presentations happening mid to late April. And we also have a big event during the spring semester for all our admitted students. This particular year coming up, it will be offered um, April 8th, and that's April 8th, 2023. <laughs> that's a little typo there. There. Um, also, we also have um, orientation. So usually once the student submits their intent to enroll, they'll be able to register and sign up for an orientation. Just to kind of give you an idea where you're able to make an appointment virtually and meet with us, we do have our pre-admissions counseling. If you go on to our web website, you'll see uh, prospective student services. Click on there. It takes you to this particular screen, and then you'll go over to it says request an appointment for first-time freshman students. So student, parents, and yourselves are able to go ahead and meet with us virtually. Um, quick reminder uh, to attend our Discover CSUSM event. That's going to be Saturday, October 15, 2022. And in addition to that, we will be offering application. Oh, um, the other thing about the Discover CSUSM event, we will be offering application workshops. So um, if you have any students that are still trying to figure out their application, they're able to attend a workshop. And then shortly after that, on October 20th, we will have our first CSUSM application clinic. Basically, our clinic, what it is, is that the student can drop in, ask questions, and get assistance with their application. So it's not a full-on workshop like how it's going to be on Saturday, October 15th. These clinics are basically as a drop-in basis for students that have questions. Okay. In addition to that, this is our contact information. We invite you to connect with us via our social media. Um, we also have a little QR, uh, QR code there. If you wanted to scan that, it takes you right to our Cal State San Marcos Recruitment and Outreach Office website. And those are our financial aid and admissions contact information. All right. Well, I thank you so much for your time, and I am open to questions. <laughs>